I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. All right, YouTube. I'll give you two guesses of what's under the pot. You're wrong. And you're probably wrong. No. Ginger! Yay! I like my one dollar pots. They work pretty well. This is a ginger root. It comes from Ingalls. And as you can see right there, there's a little bit of mold growing on it. Right so we're going to cut that off. And probably cut a little bit of that out because it's got some mold in it too. And we're going to cut this up into... How many pots do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces. Yes. And we're going to go ginger and container. So, the first thing we need to do is cut it into pieces. Now, this is what you want to look for. These buds right there. Those things. Those are what you want to look for. And in fact, I got this a couple of days ago. Well, my wife got it for me. And that one's actually grown a little bit. It's been sitting on the uh, counter. Now, this is what's left of a root. That's the root. This is not a root. Ginger is not a root. It's called a rhizome. So, we have two pieces there. And we have three pieces. Now see, I think they're called nodes. If I remember right, see there's another one growing right there. As long as you have one of those, you have a plant. Because that's where your plant is going to come from. So, as long as you plant that this way, It'll grow up, and now there'll probably be another one growing right there. So when you're cutting this, try not to cut any nodes off. Mm, that smells really good. You want to smell? So there's one piece right there that we're going to plant. And now we have two pieces. Three pieces. See, there's a little node right there. It's growing out. And we got all six pieces now. Now you can make seven pieces, even grow that one. In fact, I think I will. Now keep in mind that ginger is a tropical plant. They will not survive out in the cold. So if you're going to grow them in containers, you know, which is Actually, I think it's pretty good because you can take them outside when it warms up, leave them outside for a while, and then when it starts cooling off, you can bring them back in. Now, whether they'll last or not, I don't know. But I'm going to slice this off right there. That's where the little bit of the mold was. Slice that off. And the only reason why I'm cutting the mold off, I don't think it would hurt the process in it. But, you know, why risk it? Let's see, there was one other piece somewhere that I thought had more on it. Maybe it did. But that's what you want to look for when you get a piece of ginger out of the store. Make sure they have those. Those are what you look for. I think I already said that in this video, but eh, it never helps to reiterate things. Because in this day and age, yeah, there's the mold. Because this, in this day and age, most people don't listen to what you have to say. And they'll watch your video, and they'll ask you to answer a question that was answered in the video. I don't know. But now, what is ginger like? Ginger likes soil. A little fertile soil. I got a mix of more compost and some peat moss and some. It says like that. Sorry, that was my dog. 
It says potting soil, but actually it just looks like flat dirt. But we're going to get it all up. And yes, I'm doing this with a rake. But it'll be alright. Whoops. You got some green compost in there. And a lot of people sterilize their compost. Me, I don't care. Something else might grow with it. It's gonna be good. Hopefully, my assistant, my lovely wife, will be kind enough to refill my water spray for me. Let's see. We sprayed it down to get it wet. I don't like it soaking wet. I say I like it moist. That's why we have the pot with the container to catch it. You want, like I said, you want to lay it flat so this will grow up. I mean, you can put it like this, it'll just take longer to grow up, down and up. So, we're going to put it like this. Just sit it right in there. And add some more soil. Soil. And you don't want to put, I'm going to put about an inch of soil over it. Oh, there's a rock. Yeah, I didn't screen it. And that's it. You will just keep it moderately watered. Like I said, they like good drainage. And you just wait. Pretty soon you'll see buds and all. And I'll do an update video on how long it takes, just in case. So, but that's how you plant ginger. Now, once they uh, bud and everything, I mean sprout and you see your little plant at the top you want to go ahead and uh, give them sunshine or light at least at the very least sunshine is the best and if it's uh, outside you definitely warm enough outside which is 70 degrees so the nighttime temperatures have to be at least 70 degrees for you to leave them out all night here in Georgia uh, we get those starting around May, and they don't stop till about September. Nighttime temperatures around 70, so we have a good growing season. Uh, I will say this. Wait, no, not that. That's my puppy again. Uh, ginger does produce a bloom, and it, from what I understand, it's very pretty if you have a long growing season. So you might want to keep that in mind. And. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do one more for you. It shouldn't take too long. But this is, uh, like I said, compost. And you'll probably see some peanut holes or some eggshells in there. Alright. Oh, look at that. My assistant is a wonderful assistant. Now to sterilize your soil if you want to, you put it in the microwave and basically kill everything. Uh, so we got there, so we should, this one should be a good sized plant. And you can start this in a small container like this, and once it starts getting fairly good size, you can pull it out and put it in a big pot, which is what you want it in. You don't want it in such a small pot because it's you, you're limiting your size of your ginger, your rhizomes. So, and then we'll cover again. And keep the soil loose. That's another thing. They like light, airy, loose soil. They don't like compacted soil. So, always keep that in mind too. So just every so often kind of Reach down in there and agitate it with your fingers and be careful not to get around the plant, I mean the tips of the plant, but do that, I would say, once the plant gets established, about a foot, foot and a half tall. Because if you uh, wait, uh, do it too early, the shoots are real tender and you can break those off real easy. But any questions or comments? You know where to leave them, and 
as always. See you on the next one.